Good morning, everyone, and Merry Christmas to you. It is Christmas Eve, about 7.30 a.m., and we are at Liberty Toyota in Burlington, New Jersey. So business as usual, even though it's a holiday, we are still at the lot, seeing what kind of Tundra inventory they have. It's starting to rain. It didn't say it was going to rain every time I come to this lot for some reason. We have to deal with it a little bit, but it looks like we have a great inventory of Tundras over there. We got a capstone here. We have a Sequoia TRD Pro, which we never see. So I'm looking forward to looking at that and an ice cap TRD Pro Tundra. So let's get started in the corner over here and see what kind of Tundras we got. Just walking up, I see a couple that I'm very interested in. I see a Lunar Rock, which from the bottom of the wheel over here, it looks like a Platinum, which is going to be very cool to see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or so, and then 10, 11, two in front. So, all right, cool. Let's start down here at the Sport. You know, we always talk about how we always see sports when we come to the lot, but lately I haven't seen many. It went from four or five sports per lot to maybe one, maybe nothing. So these things are becoming uh, hard to find around my area, but they're starting to change a little bit. I look for trends all the time. So it used to be just a lot of TRD sports or SR5s, but now you're seeing a lot of higher trim stuff. So I don't know, just something I like to keep an eye on. But as we know, 20 inch unique wheel. Body color all the way around. It has a Bilstein suspension on it that gives a one inch drop in the front. All right, you get a TRD grill. This does not come with the locking rear diff. Locking rear diff is only TRD off road and TRD pro. Blacked out badging, sensors, window goes all the way down in the back. On the inside, you got the big 14 inch screen. You got the soft text. She looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be with the 14 inch screen and the soft text, though. Keep that in mind. The regular LED lights, they're not the premium. It does not come with uh, the moon roof. Moon roof is limited and up. So let's see the pricing. If there's any difference in pricing from what we see today versus what's on the internet on their website, I will post it. So as you can see, this thing is loaded pretty nice. Advanced technology package, premium audio package, PBM BSM, TRD Sport premium package has everything in it. Heated leather steering wheel, all other floor liners, tailgate insert, 62517. This says 65807, but once again, last time we were here, this wasn't actually uh, relevant anymore. So I will let you know. You will see pop-ups from the internet if there's any different pricing on there. So that's a great way to start, huh? Next door, we have Nightshade, and they're parked very tight together. So bear with me getting in and out of the trucks. Magnetic gray metallic. I love nightshade. I love nightshade because it's just very plain on the outside. It's black. It's uh, body color. Not a lot of crazy stuff going on. There's no TRD graphics, nothing like that. $450 add-on package to limited. Let's see what we got for pricing here. So nightshade package 450 and that is the 20 inch black wheel. Replaces chrome with black color keyed accents. JBL sound system. Uh, limited premium package, panoramic view monitor, limited power package, heated leather steering wheel. It's got a good amount of stuff in there. 66392. This says 7682. This is an iForce Max, which is cool. You could get it in iForce or iForce Max. Black grill up front, black badge. A very nice Tundra. It's funny because also we went from seeing absolutely no iForce Maxes for well over a year since this truck came out. If you saw an iForce Max, it was a big deal. And now they're everywhere, and I love it. Next door, we have the same thing. This is a, let's say, Windchill Pearl. I like it. Windchill Pearl Nightshade. So you can choose which color you like more here. For me, and this is kind of tough. Now, hold on real quick. From what you guys said, from other Windchill Pearls, Nightshades that we've seen in other lots, that's your favorite. I think I like this one more. I like the way this flows together. Just personal taste there. This one here is same setup. This actually has a side step on it. You got the uh, bed lights, the outlet, spray on Tundra liner. And here's what we're looking at. Pretty much the same setup here, as you can see. 67797, 72087, iForce Max again. What do you think? What do you think about that? Which one are you taking home? Because they're both iForce Max, so you can choose premium LED headlight. Oh, 
and back to our starting position on the next truck. What do we got here? This is a beautiful 1794, and this is a regular 1794. This isn't a TRD or anything, just regular. 20-inch silver wheel with, and I know I always say it, but I got to say it again. I love the wheel that comes on this truck. Normally, I can't stand the Tundra wheels that aren't TRD, but for some reason, I love these wheels. So this has the saddle brown interior in it. This thing has JBL sound system. I mean, you're not going to see a lot over here because it's all standard pano, JBL, genuine leather, heated ventilated memory, has all the good stuff. 70,202, uh, 76,987. Here's what it looks like from the front. And you can get a cream interior on this as well. Please keep that in mind. Big chrome grill up front, premium auto leveling headlights. The good part about platinum in 1794 is that's when you start getting everything standard. So instead of like trying to find a limited and building it up to the way you want, this thing just comes as is. The only thing you can really add here, as far as what we're looking at, is you can get a six and a half foot bed, five and a half foot bed, I Force, I Force Max, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, TRD off road or not. But as far as like features, options, luxury features, this thing is loaded to the max. Next door, we have another nightshade. They like nightshade around here. This one is going to be something that a lot of you want. And here's why. This is the Crew Max with the six and a half foot bed in midnight black metallic. I don't think I've ever seen one of these yet. I've obviously seen the Crew Max with the six and a half foot bed, but in black, it looks perfect because everything is blacked out. Everything is body color and you get the big bed. And for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, 14 inch screen, soft text. The nightshade looks so good when it has the big bed on it. What do you think? What do you think? 20 inch wheel. So funny, I always say this, but this 20 inch wheel is the same one as the TRD Sport. The only difference is the center cap. Let's look at pricing here. So they're all pretty much built the same, if you've ever noticed, with the nightshade. It says nightshade. 450 JBL sound system always comes with them limited premium package always there PVM always there limited power package it's pretty much the same build all the time 62403 64193 once again just want to keep updating you I will check online to see if the markups are real or not and the reason I say that is last time I was here they had markup stickers on it but when you went on their website they had discounts under MSRP so this has the LED lights and the outlet in the back. So far, this is my favorite. I just love the six and a half foot bed on the nightshade crew max. I think everyone's going to agree that's their favorite. Or it's going to be this bad boy next door. Listen, I love Lunar Rock, but Lunar Rock looks even better on the platinum. You get that dark chrome all around, black accenting, body color. You just really can't go wrong. And just like what we were talking about next door with the 1794 a couple trucks ago, this truck comes fully loaded. Pano, JBL, genuine leather. It has everything you would ever want as far as luxury features. You can now get a TRD off-road package on this truck as well. So this has a spray-on bed liner. This has the lights, the LED bed lights, and the outlet, which is also standard on platinum. And once again, you're not going to see a lot over here because standard. 10-inch uh, color heads-up display, power running board, power bed step. Doesn't have much, but it has enough. 73372, 77662. So there's that. Oh, this is an iForce Max, too. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever seen an iForce Max uh, Lunar Platinum yet. I've definitely seen Lunar Platinum, but I don't think I've seen iForce Max. That is pretty exciting. Okay, now I really want this. Man, that's cool. Next door, we have a double cab SR5. This is like what I have, but I have a few more options on mine. Uh, we'll see in a minute the difference in price. Mine went for about $58,000 MSRP. I have the 14-inch screen, soft text. I have the TRD offer package. I have the 20-inch TRD wheel from Limited Platinum in 1794. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff in mine. This one looks pretty bare bones. I could already tell from the inside, just from looking through the rear uh, window, it has the 8-inch screen. Spray on liner. This doesn't even have the lights and the outlet still has some good stuff in it. Uh, BSM outer mirrors, SR5 premium package, SR5 convenience package, quite a few things. This one's 56421. 
59.77 one. So if we look at this price, 56.421, and I was 58 and change for pretty much a fully loaded double cab SR5, I scored, huh? Because <laughs> this one has, this does have soft text. It is the premium package for the soft text. So it doesn't have the 14 inch screen though. It doesn't have TRD. That was a win for me, I guess. We have a midnight black metallic platinum next door. Beautiful. It looks so good in all black because once again, everything is, you know, body color and dark chrome. It just flows so nicely together. Uh, you can also, just like we said with the 1794, five and a half with bed, six and a half with bed, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, I force, I force max, tundra spray on, got the lights and the outlet. Let's see what we got here. 10 inch color heads up display, power running boards, power bed step. They're all pretty much built the same. 69677 six, or 967, excuse me. That is a beautiful platinum. I like the Lunar better, in my opinion. Okay, here's something cool next door. This is nice. The last one in the line over here. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a limited TRD off-road magnetic gray metallic, but it is iForce Max. I don't know if I've ever seen an iForce Max limited TRD off-road uh, in the new setup. I'm not sure. 20-inch TRD wheels. This has lock and rear diff, crawl control, multi-terrain select. It has a lot of cool things in it. But now for 2024, everything is body color when you go TRD off-road for limited. This has the lights and the outlet in the back. And I keep bringing that up because it is not standard in SR5 and limited. It has to be added on. Upper packages, it's standard. So this one here has the limited power package. It has the TRD off-road package. Limited premium package. 12-speaker JBL premium audio. Heated leather steering wheel. Has a good amount of stuff in it. 69552, 73842. This does not have a moonroof, panel roof, I should say. See the black grill up front. See what it does now for 2024 when you go TRD off road, body color surround. You get the black badge up front. Everything is blacked out. Usually, unlimited, this molding is silver. It is now blacked out. So, that is a nice line of tundras. We have a few more to look at. So, on our way by, which one is your favorite of this group? We have the Limited TRD. We have the Black Platinum. We have the regular SR5 double cab. We have the Lunar, which I'm going to take one more look at this because this one has my eye and my heart. Lunar iForce Max Platinum. Just look at that thing. Looks so good with the dark chrome. Gotta love that. Uh, we continue on next door. We have the nightshade limited with the six and a half foot bed on the crew max. We have the 1794 midnight black with the saddle Brown. We have the windshield pearl limited. This is nightshade as well. It's five and a half foot bed. Another limited mag gray nightshade, five and a half foot bed and the TRD sport. I like it. And here we have a capstone. I just recently did a video on the capstone trim. Uh, from some of the dealerships that I speak to, uh, they're having some trouble selling these capstones. So you're going to see some massive discounts on them, uh, you know, and that depends on your region and everything. But just from some of the ones I've spoken to and some of the things I've seen online, uh, a little bit of trouble selling these capstones. You would see things on some Facebook forums that would say like, hey, at my dealership, all Tundras are 4,000 off unless it's a capstone and it's 7,500 off. 22 inch unique wheel on this. This is the flagship trim of Tundra. It has the two-tone semi-aniline leather on the inside, completely fully loaded JBL pano, has a unique grill up front. This is an iForce Max, of course, because this truck only comes iForce Max five and a half foot bed, Crew Max four by four. It's the only way you could get the truck. This is in magnetic gray metallic. The only thing you can really add to these capstones are the AVS suspension with the load leveling rear height control. It's the only thing you can add. But I mean, this is your Denali of Tundra and you know, this is meant to be a status symbol, as you can see on the inside, 14 inch screen. There's that two-tone leather, which is very interesting looking, of course. Black headliner, pano, heated, ventilated memory on the seats. What a beautiful truck. Premium auto leveling headlights. Let's see what they're asking for. So this is still a 2023, okay? It doesn't even have the ABS or the load leveling rear height control. 
79824. This says 91614. That is not real uh, because this one has a 2023. From what I've seen on other dealerships or on their websites and everything, they're offering massive discounts on any of the 2023s that are left. But um, again, you'll see something pop up if I see anything online. Now, I love these TRD Pro Sequoias. I think they look good. Big roof rack on top. It has a lot of the Tundra DNA, obviously, as far as TRD Pro goes. Heritage grill up front. You guys love the nose of these way more than you do the Tundra because of the separation in the grill and the bottom bumper. It has that BBS forged wheel. It's got a nice Falcon Wild Peak tire on it. Got the camo everywhere. This is iForce Max, of course. Let's look at price first. So this has Sequoia 2024 Midnight Black Metallic. It has the red interior. I don't know if you can see. We'll go around the other side. Power tilt, has sunroof in there, TRD roof rack, performance air filters, 82, 815, 94, 600. Whoa. 94. That actually might be real because every time I see these Sequoias on the lot, especially TRD Pro, which is rare, uh, there's always a big markup on those. Got that red interior just like I used to have in my Tundra, TRD Pro 2022. It says Toyota over there. I mean, this, again, this is built like, I always say for Tundra, this is built like a limited uh, this has the sunroof on it, um, you know, JBL sound system. You get the soft text heated ventilated memory. It has TRD Pro trinkets pretty much all over the place. As you can see on the seats, it says TRD Pro in there. A very nice SUV. My question to you is, would you buy this thing? Is this something you would get? Comment below, please. And we wrap up our Tundra walk here on Christmas Eve with a beautiful white TRD Pro ice cap Tundra. I love this truck, man. I love white. Let's hope it has the red interior. Let's go around that side first. Big TRD Pro splashed across the back. You got the marker lights because she's a little bit wider because of the offset and the over fenders. This has the black interior. This is actually kind of rare. I don't think I've ever seen a white TRD Pro with the black interior. 14 screen. This has the pano. It is now a black headliner for 2024 on the Pro. What a nice looking truck, huh? See the big Fox suspension in there. Pretty much levels the truck out. I believe it's a 1.1 or 1.2 inch level. Got the light bar in front, Toyota Heritage Grille, premium auto leveling headlights. This is just like the setup on the capstone where you can only get it one way. Five and a half foot bed. Crew Max, iForce Max 4x4, but well worth it in my opinion. This has the Predator Pro steps on it. Pricing, not a lot of crazy stuff added on, as you can see, and the total is 76791-83576. Beautiful truck. Beautiful truck, right? So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is your Tundra inventory from Liberty Toyota. Burlington, New Jersey. It turned out to be nice on my ride here. It started to rain, even though it wasn't forecasted. But uh, I was glad to be able to come out here. I like to come out here once every other month or so because they always have a really nice inventory of Tundras. And we got to see a Sequoia TRD Pro today. So here we are. I thank you for watching. I wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Have a great time. Enjoy all the time you get to spend together. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Be safe, be well. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok. At TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.